Many of us fail to consider what is a fulfilled life. Over time, I've come to realize that a fulfilled life has three component parts. Number one, doing well. Number two, doing good for society. And number three, living a life of passion. Doing well is having enough wealth so that you can live the lifestyle that you choose and having excess wealth that you can give back to society. Which brings us to doing good. We have to ask ourselves the question, what is our responsibility? We were born in countries that made us confident. We were born to parents who had values. And thirdly, we were born in an era that gave us opportunities. Conversely, there are many children who were born in countries that immediately truncated their confidence, who were born to parents who immediately, by virtue of having no values, no standards, expectations, truncated their confidence, and who were born in an era in which there are misfits. Therefore, we have to ask ourselves the question, do we have a responsibility to those of our brothers and sisters who are less blessed than we are. And finally, the third component is passion. Very successful people, very fulfilled people, they have a mission, they have a purpose that gets them through the ear pockets of life. So the question we all have to ask is, what is my purpose? What is my mission? What is my cause? That is what gives you passion. Living a life of fulfillment, the concept is simple, not easy to execute over the long run. We have to be prepared to persevere through thick and thin. Ultimately, living a fulfilled life leads to one's legacy. Which reminds me of the story of the three stonemasons. This passerby, having seen these three stonemasons working day and night building this wall, decided one day to stop and ask the question, Stonemasons, why are you here? Stonemason number one, his response was, I need a salary. Stonemason number two responded by saying, I am the consummate professional. Stonemason number three said, the real reason I'm here is because I'm building my cathedral. Now, who do you think will have the fulfilled life? Stonemason number three, every brick he lays, he makes a direct connection to his ultimate legacy. Our behavior today will be our history tomorrow. Make sure it's well written. <laughs>